Okay, this tutorial will be covering uh, an example problem on using uh, enthalpies of phase change and the traditional heat equation in order to solve this question here. Um, so it says, how much energy does it take to convert 0 0.50 kilograms of ice at negative 20, so starting at negative 20, all the way to steam at 250 degrees Celsius? Okay, and uh, so it gives us some... Uh, tabulated values here so it gives us the specific heat capacities when it's uh when your substance is a when its substance is ice when it's liquid and when it's steam um, and it also gives us the uh, enthalpy of phase changes here so what I'm going to do is try to uh, I think the easiest way to show this is to show it on a heating curve um, so I'm going to sketch out a, a heating curve for water and go right along this heating curve with um, the different processes that are going to happen. This is actually going to require, uh, I think, five steps here. So this will be zero, because that's when it melts. And this will be 100, because that's when it uh, boils. So we're starting, so how much Q total? to go from negative 20 Celsius all the way to 250 degrees Celsius. So um, we're going to start here at negative 20. And this is, like I said, is 0. Um, and so what we need to do for this is step 1. Okay, so step one is the uh, energy to go from negative 20 to 0 degrees Celsius. So Q would equal um, our mass, and our mass needs to be converted to, they gave us kilograms, so which is 500, and you need to leave that decimal there because this has three sig figs. So we have 500 grams times the specific heat of ice so you have to make sure you use C for ice here and they give it to us right here so 2.1 joules per gram times Celsius and the Delta T for this segment here the Delta T is going to be 0 because that's the final so it's gonna be 0 minus a negative 20 which is positive 20 degrees Okay, and notice they gave us a, a decimal point right here, so there's two sig figs in this number. Okay, so if I um, if I multiply that in my calculator, I get 2.1 times 10 to the fourth joules, which is 2.1 times 10 to the first kilojoules. Okay, so that's step one. Now, step two is right here. Okay, so we need to melt this. We need to melt melt this uh, 0 0.5 kilograms of ice. So first, we have to take it to zero. Next, we have to melt it. So this is step two. Is Q equals? Um, so remember, for uh, phase changes, we're going to use Q equals N delta H fusion so our mole amount is going to be 500 grams times uh, in one mole there there's 18.02 grams okay times the enthalpy of fusion which is 6.02 kilojoules per mole okay and this leaves us with kilojoules in our answer and I got 1.67 times 10 to the second kilojoules for that step. Okay, now uh, once we do that, um, now we are here and we have to go here. So we're now next, the next step is to take it from 0 to 100. So we're calculating that step in step 3. So step three is the energy 
to go from 0 to 100, so it's going to require energy for that too, which we'll calculate separately. Let me, I forgot to label this one. So this is energy to melt it. All right, so the energy to go from 0 to 100, we use our heat equation, which, which has the delta T value in it. And the difference this time is for C, we need to make sure we're using C for liquid. So um, Q would equal 500 grams times 4.2 joules per gram times Celsius times delta T. And delta T is 100, so it would be 100 minus 0. Um, we should have three sig figs because the 100 is is by definition that's the Celsius scale is based on water, so by definition it's at exactly 100 when it boils. So uh, I let's see, this will be 500 times 4.2 times 100. So for this I get uh, 2.1, 3, 4, 5 times 10 to the fifth joules, which is 2.1 times 10 to the second kilojoules. Okay, and then I keep I keep doing this in steps here. So my next step, so I did this, that was step three. I did that. So my next step is to go, is to uh, boil it. So we're gonna do step four by using Q equals N delta H VAP. Okay, so I'm going to have you guys finish the last two. So I think you know, um, so I think you'll get, you know, you're starting to get the hang of this here. So Q equals N delta H VAP. And the next step, so we still have one more after that, and that's this segment right here. Um, and then, and for this segment, we're going to 250 degrees Celsius. So we're going from 100 to, and then we end right here at 250. So you're going to need the delta T for that. So this is the energy to go from uh, 100 to 250 Celsius. And I... Uh, I forgot to label this one. This one, so step four was energy to get it to boil. All right, so, um, and make sure another thing, another one little nuance here that just happened I noticed was um, when we did the heat equation, these values were in joules. Okay, when, when we were using the heat equation, this was in joules, so I had to convert it to kilojoules because I know I'm going to add it at the end. I'm going to add all five of these together because this asks to get the total energy to convert it from negative 20 all the way to 250. Okay, so uh, let's see what you guys come up with. Um, and uh, again, just to repeat one more time, th this was in joules, and when you were, when you were doing the uh, phase change one, this, these were ended up being in kilojoules. So we're, I, I converted these to kilojoules so that they're all in kilojoules, because we're going to adding them at the end. Okay, so that's the end of our tutorial. Let's see if you guys can finish off this problem.